These are two wheels of the same car that rotate at different speeds. In the beginning, to rotate both wheels together, engineers placed rods on their axles and pushed them using a cross rod so that both wheels rotated at the same time. Later, to make things easier, a rotating sleeve was installed on one axle, and with it an arm was connected to the cross rod. By rotating this sleeve, both wheels would start moving, but when one wheel was stopped, the other would also get stuck and stop. To solve this problem, engineers made the joint of the cross rod rotatable so that if one wheel stopped, the cross rod would turn and the other wheel could still move. However, this mechanism was weak, and with extra force, the rod would slip out of its place. So, engineers improved the design by increasing the number of rods, making it sturdier. This way, if one wheel stopped, the other could keep rotating smoothly. Thus, the car stayed stable while moving straight, and during turns, the cross rods rotated themselves to allow smooth movement. Over time, for greater strength, gears were used instead of rods. With gears, the rotation process became much smoother and stronger. Along with this mechanism, a drive shaft was also added which meshed with the large gear to transfer power forward. When the car moves straight, the drive shaft spins quickly with the large gear. And as soon as the car turns, the large gear drives the smaller gears, allowing the wheels to turn easily. This is how the differential was invented.